Okay, let's talk about search in rotated sort array. So the description is pretty long. And the idea is you have to use log n method. I mean, the runtime has to be log n. So you are given a nums array and then a target. So you are going to find the index for the target. If the target is not in the array, you return negative one. And that is the idea. So let's just jump to my example. So four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two, and target is zero, right? So four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two, and I have two pointer, one point at the beginning, the other one point at the end. And I do have the middle value every single time if my I or J move, right? So the target is zero, right? So I'm gonna check if my nums nums i is less than or equal to nums m. So if this is true, then I know I'm in the ascending order. So imagine you have four here and then zero and then uh, zero right here. That means there should be uh, something like it breaks, not right? There should be like uh, something. There should be something like this. Um, I mean, that's not that's not the situation for this case. But let's talk about this case. So in this case, nums i and nums m, nums i is less than nums m, so it's ascending order in this case. So I don't I don't have to worry about what the uh, number inside is. So the target is zero, right? So I'm gonna check is uh, target is between nums i and nums nums m. Then I just say this is a descending order. So when I check the value, it's definitely not in the range, right? So I need to move my eye to this spot, right? So when I move I to this spot and then I update my aim. So I think my aim is right here. Two, okay, two, four, six. Six minus four. And then, the, yeah, exactly. So plus one, right? So my new aim will be at index one. But before this, I need to check if my uh, if my value nums i and nums n is nums i and nums n uh, less than equal nums i less than nums n. Yes, true. Then I can search. So I'm I'm gonna search if if nums i and nums n is in between. Yes. So I'm moving my j j so j to m minus one. So in this situation, I don't put the value at, at m spot because when I check my m, the m index, I will just return the value because I just found it, right? So I, I don't need to like put my i or j at this spot. m is the position that you check every single time. If you did not find it, then you move on the left or on the right just based on what, you, uh, based on what index you have. So that would I mean this idea and then let's talk about this. So uh, for this case four five six seven zero one two is and toggle is three, right? So I'm gonna check is my nums i less than equal to nums n nums m true. So I'm gonna say is the toggle is between the nums i and nums m? No, right? So is the toggle is between nums i m and nums j? True. uh yes. Why? I like there is a value, right? There should be a value be, be, in between here, right? So I'm moving my moving my eye to here, right? So I'm gonna update it, right? And then I'm gonna check again. Oh, it's between num uh, I and M. No, J or M. No, right? So I'm still moving my J. Uh, move my eye. Sorry. And when the I mean, when I check last check again, since it's already in value, right? So when I return it, I need to check is my nums i is equal to target is true. Then I return low. I mean, I return i. Else I return negative one. So they just code and you will understand it. So I'm going to say in i equals zero, j equal to nums of length minus one. So while uh, i less than j. And then in m is equal to i plus j minus i divided by two, right? So I'm going to check if nums m is equal to target. If this is true, I just return what? Return m, right? That's the idea. So I'm going to check if nums i 
let's say equal to nonce n. If and am I in the between of nonce i, uh, i and m, or m and j, right? So that is the uh, checking condition. So I'm going to check again if target. So I need to put the target in there. If target is greater or equal to nonce i, so the base idea is, I mean, the base way to write is this. It's in the between of target and target is less than nums n, right? We don't have to put an equal sign right here because equal sign is already checked. Uh, check the value. We put an equal sign right here is because maybe it's at index i, right? So if this, if this is true, I have to say min minus 1. Why? Because target is actually uh, target is in the between of nums i and m, right? Because greater than i less than n, right? And then else i equal to m plus one. That is the idea, right? So same idea for the m and j. If nums uh, nums m less than target and target less than equal to nums j right so if this is true target is in the between m and j so i update what well, i update i right and i update j for this now uh, at the end i need to see if my nums i equal to the target if this is true, I just return i, else I return negative 1, right? Okay, let's uh, check about the error. Do I have it? No, okay, pretty good. Alright, I mean, you, you need to know the condition, right? You, you need to know the condition, so um, the condition are based on this, right? And then time and space, you are not using any space. And then time is definitely log n, and it's hard, definitely. And then, uh, Try by own. Alright, peace.